T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engines for power, and lift off. Go bandwagon, go ADD 425. Vehicles pitching downrange. And with chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. We're currently throttling down to prepare for Max-Q. The point of maximum aerodynamic stress is on the vehicle. Max-Q occurs in the lower atmosphere, where there's still enough air to create significant Power resistance nominal. against the rocket. This is when the pressure pushing against the rocket is at its highest point, and it's a key test of the vehicle's structural integrity. After Max Falcon 9 is supersonic. After Max-Q, the rocket continues to accelerate, but the air becomes thinner, reducing the stress on the vehicle as it climbs through the upper layers of the atmosphere. Max-Q. And there's the call-up for Max-Q. Merlin engines are back at full power, and we're out of the throttle bucket. From here on, even though velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, resulting in less loads on Falcon 9. Now we have several events coming up in quick succession, starting with Miko, followed by stage separation, back two. stage one flip, second engine start one, or SES one, and the start of the boost back burn. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage. Following that, the Falcon, vehicle 9, trajectory is nominal. The Falcon 9 first stage will then perform a flip maneuver as the MVAC engine on the second stage is in startup. Then we'll see the start of the boost back burn on the Falcon 9 first stage, followed by fairing separation, where the fairing will jettison from the second stage now, now that it's no longer needed to protect the payload once we're in space. And at our customer's request, we will not be showing fairing separation today. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one, boost back startup. And back startup. Bearing separation confirmed. And there we heard those events that happened back to back. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, Second engine start one, the start of the boost back burn on the first stage, and fairing separation. We should expect the end of the boost back burn shortly. The next major milestone coming up is the entry burn on our first stage, scheduled to occur at about T plus 5 minutes and 56 seconds. Stage 1 entry burn startup. There's the callout for entry burn startup on the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn is set to last about 20 seconds. Stage 2 FTS has saved. And again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn in landing. Stage one entry burn shut down. And that concludes our entry burn. The first stage has Both one trajectories are nominal. The first stage has one more burn left to prep for landing. And as mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster, targeting a landing at landing zone two, which is not far from our launch pad. The Falcon 9 first stage is equipped with four landing legs made of carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb. Placed symmetrically, symmetrically around the base of the rocket, they'll deploy. Stage one FTS has saved. They'll deploy just prior to landing. Stage one transonic. Coming up within the next 18 seconds, we'll have the start of the landing burn at the first stage. The landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster, used to reduce the remaining speed of the vehicle for a gentle and precise landing. 
stage one landing burn. And there you heard that call out for the landing burn start on the Falcon 9 first stage. This is the final burn that this booster will see before touching down on landing zone two. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there we have it, another successful first stage landing at landing zone two, marking the third landing for this specific booster. Now we have about two minutes remaining before the next event, which is SECO 1, or second engine cutoff 1. That's the first of three planned events where the second stage Merlin vacuum engine shuts down and restarts after a coast period. Again, we'll do this three times before all payloads are deployed.